he looks a lot neater this time round. Well, we're going to find out what measure of improvement he's made in those intervening two years against a tough opponent here in Deitschko. Moves well, Deitschko, doesn't he? Nice jab off the back foot when the jabber comes at him. Follows up with the right hand as well. That sort of movement when you're in his size, you know. But there's the danger. Jabo, he just fainted with the, the left and then threw that big right. He's tried it again there. And the audience here in these games have already seen the power in that right hand of the Nigerian. Oh! Rock the head of Daichko. There is that right hand in motion. Took it well though, the Kazakh. If he times that perfectly, it could be good night. That's him go, no holding, no holding, no holding, head up, head up. Big support for the Jagba amongst the predominantly Brazilian crowd. But, but that's his problem, just getting a, a, a little bit clumsy in terms of his own defence, but he just keeps on coming at you and he will land it clean eventually. It's going with Ditchko, but a jag buff. Third and final round in the super heavyweight quarterfinal between the Nigerian FA Ajagba and Ivan Danishko of Kazakhstan. He's behind on points, the man in red. He knows he needs the knockout. He's capable of it with that right hand. Not got enough left, I don't think. The Jagba ran out of steam there against this huge man, Ivan Dajko, who will be confident that he's taken his place in the semi-final of the Super Heavyweight category. Yeah, absolutely. He'll uh, he'll go through the semis. He'll take a medal for sure. And. Uh, Deitschko Joyce, there was that uppercut that you, that you mentioned that really did rock him. It was a great punch. Unfortunately, the Jagbar couldn't follow it up with another shot straight away. But uh, I think in terms of a matchup of styles, Joyce and Deitschko, it's going to be a really good fight. Both of them will go in picking their, their chance. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by unanimous decision, the blue corner. Ivan Daichko of Kazakhstan, unanimous points winner. Well, as Ivan Daichko, of course, he won that bout ahead of FAA Jaguar. We actually gave a good fight in that one. The punches from the right fist was actually heavy. Well, uh, Patrick Amoradian joins us now, the deputy sports editor of Vanguard newspaper. We're talking about this particular fight and of course Austin will also you know chip in some few words he's still right there in Rio. Good morning welcome to the program. Good morning thank you. Yeah. It just started this bout right? It's yes, really close. Uh, it's close you see uh, but I think uh, what uh, Jabba did was uh, he was just looking out for the, the knockout you know okay. which is not too good you know in, in amateur boxing you, you go for the points okay. so and the other guy was just gathering the points and uh, the knockout didn't come like he expected. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Close decision. Very close very yeah, close. You know. It's close. Okay. That's a good fight coming from him. Now, let's talk about Team Nigeria. The performance last yeah. night, what happened? We'll start with the first one, which was uh, athletics and talking about 100 meters holders where Oluwa Tobiloba Amuso, she yeah. was in that one, but she finished a third in her hit, 12.91 seconds. And the men's 200 semi final, of course, Divino Duduru just couldn't, you know, make it to the finals, rank 7, 20.59 seconds. That was what he ran, even slower than what he did uh, against the same boats in the round, first round. Mm -hmm. And for the long jump, S.A. Brome, 6.81 meters, she jumped, ranked fifth overall in that one. That's what athletics for yesterday. We'll switch over to wrestling now. The wrestling wasn't a good one at all. From the very round of 16, from the very first 
uh, fight, Han and Ruben just couldn't get anything out of Canadian Dorothy Yeats, 69 kg in that one she lost. And of course, Iwoma Matskuska uh, against Genesis, 48 kg. Genesis, of course, lost woefully in that one. Petra Oli against Aminat Adeniyi, disappointing for her also, 3-1. 58 kg category she also lost Patrick what do you think about this performance <laughs> <laughs> you see uh, me actually uh, I'm not uh, too excited about what the athletes will turn out for because uh, the preparation you know if we go by what they how they prepared you know I'm not expecting anybody to blame any of them you know but you see somebody like Gali you know he prepared the athletes you know but he said that he will go and do his best you know that he may not come out we come back empty-handed but he said the preparation was very bad you know here we have been seeing these things we started right from time telling the people this preparation is too bad you know we don't wait till the last minute before we start preparing for any events you know and you see our athletes when they compare themselves with their counterparts from other other parts of the world you will know where you place you know because i was listening to darius on yesterday on your program and he's so you know when you place our athletes side by side with other people you know where they can get to so uh, there was no hope, especially in the athletics, but in wrestling. Well, to me, I think the only person I think I, I bank on for anything is uh, Adokuri because mm -hmm. uh, she's been there, you know, yeah. Commonwealth, you know, champ World Championship. So, I, I, well, I just still, I just believe that maybe one person, one of them, pick a good uh, bronze or so, then uh, football too. Football. Because, but if in football, if we underrate the hundred or the, the, the Honduras people, we may be in for it. But because they also want to get a medal. No. So I think everything boils down to bad preparation. So wow. it's going to be hard for us to get something out. Okay, today uh, Dekri talked about she will be in action you know, he, in her own uh, category, 53 kg. And of course, you also have Bless No Brother do. She will also be in action in wrestling also. These ladies will be in action. So if you can just see the slides of them, of that one, and also some other mm. events for today. Now, the men's shot puts, yeah. Stephen Mosier, that's the guy uh, that so actually tipped to get us a medal in a shot put yeah. event. Just see what's going to happen today. Dorina Mata also in the women's high jump qualification. She will also so, be in action. Then you have the four by 100 meters really round one. Bless no Kagbari, Agnes Sazua, Jennifer Mandu, Olivia Ekbone, Gloria Sumno, and of course, Peace Uku. All of them will take to the track today. Anything <laughs> from here? You're smiling. <laughs> yeah, you know, actually, you know, in the past, the, yeah. you know, the, the, the relay, you know, especially for the women, they've given us something to share. And I still believe that except the, the, the maybe the one or two so things happen, yeah. you know, maybe <laughs> baton exchange and Some, something like that. Drops the baton. Yes, that one. If you because check the records, really, women really always give us something. You see, like we may upgrade it to silver now from Beijing. From Beijing. So, yeah. so somehow, yes, well, somehow. But this time around, you're not expecting any. <laughs> because you have America in our group, China and yes, Tobago too. American, you're running the, the same. Americans, you know, but like I said, in, there was a time the Americans also dropped back in. Yeah, and it we, can we happen. Had to step. So anything yeah. can happen. But if they pull the ass together and they get the the right people to do the legs, you know, first and second, then last. Mm -hmm. You know, okay, that, if we don't, if we don't start well, we may not get it. But if somebody starts well and let, maybe the third leg, third leg and the fourth leg, mm -hmm. get it right, get it right, we may pick, pick a medal from that place. Yeah. Uh, okay. Quickly, we'll go straight to that slide now. That's uh, where we have a uh, blessed Nobrodi, and of course, you have uh, Ade Korea, and of course, Austin. You know, she's banking on these two ladies to give us medal. Austin, you're banking on these two ladies to give us medal, and then they're playing the round of they, are, they will be fighting round of 16 today. The women's freestyle, 63 kg and 53 kg. What do you think? Yeah, I, Cecilia, you know my stance with wrestling, and um, I've said the only sport that I know uh, came here with a lot of optimism and preparation is wrestling. Although I had the crew here, we know at the Golden Girl, it's lovely to see her sing uh, if she wins. Let's the brother do Commonwealth um, gold medalist, and uh, she keeps, you know, getting better and better. But with the way Aminata Dini was beating and Ruben fell, Messi Genesis, now you know it's the Olympics. But we, um, what she went through in England, or Dwayne Adekuruye, and the focus and her style of fighting, because you know she's a freestyle wrestler. Uh, yes, yes, but I'm so worried. I'm so. Careful, I don't want to put pressure on the player at the crew here. We know our quality. Let's see if she can go all the way. Same with our blessed number. Let's just wish them luck. Come on, these ladies, they've worked so hard. Um, all we can do is the least we can do is to support them.
Okay, we'll keep supporting them. Now, the sports minister, you spoke to him uh, last night, of course, as of this morning, or whatever time it is there in Brazil, and he had a lot of things to say, especially concerning the dream team leaving it. Maybe we'll just listen to the sports minister. We'll get back to you after this. No, everybody prepared for something. And uh, in your preparation, you can also be able to assess the capacity of your opponent. So you know what will come out of it. This is the direction where I'm coming from. But even now in Rio, uh, from the preliminary participation of uh, Nigeria, Team Nigeria, I've not been disappointed. One thing about leadership is to inspire your people in the face of serious challenges to determination. Yes, I knew the level of preparation we had all these four years. But of course, it is not enough for a nation like Nigeria to come to a, a, a competition, a world competition like this, and be lamenting. No. We are a great nation. Add and subtract whatever our challenges are, we must make our mark and we must maintain our stand and integrity. Okay, we'll keep maintaining it, our stand, and of course our integrity. But Sports Minister, you know, preparations wasn't really too cool for everyone, and most of us were not happy. And of course, all the blames were actually laid on his doorstep, <laughs> Mr. Patrick. <laughs> well, I didn't understand what he was saying there, you know, because uh, as a Sports Minister, he, you know what 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 happened was that he, he didn't have the people on ground to really guide him you know because okay. the, the past minister had a technocrat on ground you know so i expected that when he came he shouldn't have even allowed them to move yakmut out of the system okay. because when yakmut left nobody was on ground to really assist him the permanent secretary that i was brought in knew next to nothing about sports i know that so they didn't really know where they were going to you know if the money was not coming what i expected them to do was go out and source for funds the, the past digits did it. You source of funds after because they know they have approval. So that when this money comes, you upset your, 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 your debtors. Okay. But they, did it. they were sitting down expecting the money to come. The money won't do the work for you. You do work and the money will do the okay. rest. But they, wait, they waited for the money and the money didn't come. The money comes, comes late. Chief Ekeji always said it that everything, we know that money, government money comes very late. So what you do is plan ahead get uh, money from other sources. So when this money comes, then you start offsetting. You know, Let me I ask want... you this question. I mean, I remember I mean, when uh, the president actually released a fund for all Africa games, they also said part of the funds was going to be for preparations for the Olympics. So what happened to that money that everyone had to put their hands and waiting for the money to travel for the Olympics to come so before they start anything? Cecilia, I think this is what the government should really investigate because uh, I've spoken with Yakmo several times. Yakmo said he handed over to the, the minister and the permanent secretary. And he left over about 640 million naira. You know, this was the balance from the All African Games. And it was meant for preparation, for training tours, for uh, qualifiers. But he came and he said he didn't meet anything. So I think it's between himself and Yakmo, they should come and tell Nigerians what happened to the money. So that is why we should, we, we, that's what the next line of action now for government. Money was said to be released or was, to be left. He came and said no money was given to him. But Yakmo maintains. I think we have to bring two of them together, face to face, and tell, <laughs> tell Nigerians what happened to the money. Because I still believe, I believe Yakmo. Yeah. Because he, he planned for all these things. Because I remember that he told the basketball team, especially the under 17 girls, look, because you have done well, we are going to make sure you prepare and you train and go for the World Championship. And also promise the, the Tigers. But when he left, nothing was coming. We didn't hear anything from government anymore. And that's why the preparation was short, uh, shoddy, mm -hmm. I, I must confess. So mm -hmm. the minister had a lot to explain about that money that he said that they didn't meet. Yeah, I, I think really, really do, because uh, most people are actually confused about it. I, you know, here we're talking about the fact that, hey, when will this money come out? What happened to all the money and all that? You have federation, all of them started sourcing for phones to actually take care of their athletes. Basketball, you mentioned, was an, a typical example. The gentleman had sourced for phones to actually be able to get the detail guys to go on the training tour and all the many things that happened, you know, with them and all that right there in the U.S. But then we'll talk about this and more. We'll go for a break now, and then when we come back, we'll be talking about well, there's this particular lady who actually dived. Well, it wasn't a dive uh, anyway. She was tired. That's the reason why she had to take the dive on the leap. And funny enough, Adam Webster is actually legitimate. <laughs>